Hey everybody, thanks so much for joining me. Stampin' Sue Creates here to share with you a fun unboxing. I'm very excited. I know it's a little late in coming. Vicki told us that there were some holdups. Totally understand that. It is so worth the wait. I'm here to do my unbagging of my Creative Notions subscription box. If you are not yet a member of, of the subscription box, definitely head on over to Creative Notions Quilt Shop. They are based out of Utah. They do these monthly subscription bags, boxes, each and every month. Totally worth every single penny. Although Vicki and her crew send this to me, <clears throat> excuse me, every single month absolutely free, which is so fantastic of them. I'm telling you, they are a great bunch of people. And, um, Look at this cute bag. I mean, it comes in the priority bag, but the bag comes in a bag. And um, they have their own little tag on here to say Creative Notions, which is very exciting. And, ooh, this is a tight one. And um, I actually use these bags. They're great for reusing if you travel or um, you want to put projects in here. I use my embroidery machine, and um, I embroider on these. And, I mean, they're multi-purpose purposeful. <laughs> so here's a peek. You guys get to see it before I even do. There's even a little tag on the inside with their little travel trailer, which I love. Sorry, that's my dog. Happens every time if you follow me. If you're not yet a subscriber, be sure to click on down in the red box and subscribe. Next to that, you'll find a little notification bell. If you click on that, you can choose to watch you know all my videos when I upload them certain videos but just click all so you don't miss a single thing I love this bag I love this fabric this is super heavy duty fabric oh, so um yeah oh oh my goodness who doesn't love a Kit Kat bar really oh, and a white one yet okay we're gonna put that aside they always like to Vicky always likes to throw in a little treat and oh my goodness Okay, we're going to leave the fabric for last, but look at these colors. Look. Oh, my God. Okay. All right, Susan, breathe. Breathe. All right. Okay. Look at this. There's just so much stuff. Um, and it's so fun because you just don't know what you're going to get. And, oh, my goodness. I am a bag lady. <laughs> yeah, I am. I do not care for shoes, and I think you're either a shoe person, a bag person, or all of the above. But I am definitely a bag person, and I'm loving what I'm seeing already. And I'm thinking we have everything in here to make the bag. Oh my goodness, look at the cute little charms in here. And there's some brads in here, and I'm assuming this is the handle. So this is one handle set, two zips, two charms. Oh my goodness, and here's a photo on the back to show you everything that's in here. And look at the different, oops, sorry, look at the different designs you can create. I know I'm jumping the gun. I can't help myself. I'm so sorry. Okay. <laughs> so um, here we have some Makers Planner journal cards. How fun are these? Now, if you remember a few months back, Vicki was so fabulous in sending us a Makers Planner. Yeah, a whole planner for the year. So these are little cards, and I don't want to open them, but I'll bring it up close and personal so you can take a little look while I take a peek at what else is in this bag. But look how fun all these little cards are. You can use these to incorporate to, into your planner. And um, last month we got stickers. So, I mean, you guys are like top notch in things. Okay, hope you had a look at those. But they're just super fun. They take you throughout the whole year. Look at the cute little Halloween one. Oh, my goodness. Give thanks. Christmas. Oh, I love the sun. I am like a sun person. I love sun. Anything with happy faces, sunflowers. Okay, so here we have a recipe for a chocolate peanut butter pie. And oh, yum. This was submitted by Sonia Jones. And it is quick enough, not many ingredients, which is what I like. And on the back is 
a recipe card. You can jot down little notes if you like to change things up. But there is the um, website for Creative Notions. I'm telling you, head on over there. She does long arm quilting. So if you're a quilter and need someone to do that for you, she offers many items for sale, fabrics, notions, totions, you name it. She's got them all. Okay, so we're really like all over the place with this one. So this is the March 2020 subscription. It's called Oh Sweet Spring, How I Love Thee. Oh my goodness, you guys, I don't know how you come up with this. So the bag value is $53.50, and I'm telling you, you don't even pay that much. So in here, oh, what is this? I can't clean my craft room because I get distracted by all the cool stuff I find again. Oh my gosh, who can relate to that? I kind of straightened up a little bit because I've taken on another <sighs> crafting obsession. Machine embroidery. Oh, and I'm telling you, subscribe to my channel. You're, you're going to be seeing some upcoming videos. I've uploaded a couple of them. So welcome new subscribers. Um, bag contents. Beautiful fabric is called Daisy May by Poppy Cotton. We've chosen eight fat quarters of this amazing country-inspired fabric that we know you will love, and the value is $24. And I make all kind of things out of these fat quarters. Um, I'm loving this purse design, so I may take a shot at this purse. Um, Vicki also uploads YouTube videos, and she'll take you step-by-step -step to show you how to make it. Um, we also have a zappy dot, which includes... Another cute Zappy Dot, too, which she includes every month. I'm sorry. Visit ZappyDots.com to support them and purchase accessories that go with your quilt dots. Um, so I got myself so involved in everything. And, um, okay, so it's probably attached to here. Yep. And look how cute this is. This is, um, I'm thinking it's a little broom that we're going to be doing some spring cleaning. But who has time for that, right? I mean, we got lots of crafting to do. So, um... Okay, now I'm going to have to really look at this closely. Um, it is very difficult to read for an old lady like me. I'm going to bring my light in close. Sorry about that for you guys. And it says, Seeds, uh, hmm, Tulips Bloom. Um, okay, well, I will bring it up close. You probably might be able to read it better than I can. So I'm going to have to get my big magnifying glass. But these are cute. You can use these for magnets on bolts and boards or things like that. But she also included a little scissor fob. I believe it was last month or the month before. And they have a magnet on the back. So they're super cute. And um, love that. Okay, so that is the Zappy Dot. Um, a recipe winner is Sonia Jones with a recipe for chocolate peanut butter pie. So she got, by them choosing her recipe, she got a pre-cut two and a half inch strips from Bern Benartex. Benartex, okay. So love that. So journal cards, use these journal cards to assist you with your projects and enhance your creativity. They will brighten your planner and give you a smile. Place them in the little plastic page between the months of your planner. So 48 of them we got, and that value is $6. Did I say the Zappy Dots? That's a $3.50 value. So here we are with the project for this month, and it's make an amazing bag using the fabrics and materials in this month's bag. Pattern compliments, pattern compliments of creative notions, or use your fabrics to make something equally beautiful. See so you the bag kit, you get the handles, zipper, and charm. Puppy not included. Oh, darn. Value is $15. Um, we also have Pellon Flex Foam with one-sided adhesive. Very nice. This foam is amazing for making bags. If a bag isn't on your project list, you can make placemats, mug rugs, little gift bags, zipper pouches. The list goes on and on. You get a half a yard of that, and the value of that is $10. And um, that's what this is. And, um, yeah, I've never worked with this, but... So, I don't know. Um, where am I at in time? Oh, I got plenty of time. So, let's take a look at the pattern. This is the Josie bag. Finish size is 8 by 5 by 14 And I'm telling you, um, <laughs> I can never have enough bags. And we can't forget to go through the fabric, too. So, um, here we are. Look at a cute little paper clip. I mean, the attention to details that... That Creative Notions gang does. I mean, really. So here it's showing the different bags, your choices. What is my cat doing? 
She always seems to find something to get herself into. Speaking of bags, my cat loves bags. How many of you have cats out there and they love bags? Yeah, well, she's a girl too. What is she doing? Oh, she's trying to get into my Dollar Tree bag. <laughs> um, okay, so supplies needed. Um, it looks like uh, you pretty much have everything. Um, a zipper, which, you know, we all have that, right? <clears throat> so it tells you how to cut it, the lining, um, piece, piecing, how to put it all together. So, Vicki, I'm definitely going to need, <clears throat> excuse me, I have this frog. Definitely going to need your video to help me through this. But um, what a great project to do on a weekend, you know, or you come, well, I don't know if I pro challenge myself to do this after I come home from work. But definitely a weekend. This is a great weekend project. Um, and it does. It goes step by step. And, um, oh, here's the, the pattern. Look how fun that is. And it's a nice heavyweight paper that the pattern is on. So, I mean, when you're done with this bag, then um, you can go ahead and create even more bags. And what a great gift that would be. I mean, Mother's Day is coming up. Um, I'm sure you know someone in your life that would love a bag. Oh, and look how cute that is. It's like a little teardroppy kind of paper clip. Love that. Um, turn it into a man bag. I mean, it doesn't just have to be for women. So, um, let's put that aside. Let's check out the fabric. So, um, and I save all these ribbons too. I don't know. I just do. I can't help myself. Oh my goodness. Look at how cute. Now she did give us a little, um, hint, hint. And, um, uh, it included a pig. So, uh, I think it was a pig. Was it a pig? Huh? Don't remember. Anyhow, um, yeah, memory's the first thing to go beside the eyesight. You know, what could I tell you? Look how cute this fabric is, though. It has little strawberries, butterflies, little chickens and hens and little X's and bunnies. Love that. And the background is, let me put it in the light. Background is navy. But that's super cute. Super cute. And um, here's like a filler fabric. It has all kind of little polka dots. I think they're polka dots. Yeah, they're polka dots. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Look at this fabric. Oh, isn't that beautiful? Absolutely love it with the flowers and little strawberries. Look how well they go together. And here's just like the white fabric, but it's in pink with polka dots. That's beautiful, too. And we have some flowers. Look how cute they are. Oh, my goodness. Look at that. Look at the variety. I mean, I'm running out of room here. I'm going to have to move over. And then we have some daisies with a little pink background. Absolutely stunning. Vicki, you guys, top notch, really. And look at the cute little rosebuds. I'm loving it. <clears throat> Sorry, my voice. I don't know. <clears throat> I've been up for hours. but um, And look at this, how cute cute little navy background with this cute little design so there is all the fabric look at how beautiful that is and if you are a sewer or not a sewer a quilter you love fabric you would love this design so we have our fabric we have our pattern we have our um pelon flex foam i mean i don't want to cover anything up um we have our bag accessory set to make our little bag. We had a cute little um, <clears throat> recipe for chocolate yummy peanut butter pie. We have these adorable maker journal cards that can slip in your journal. And then, of course, our zappy dot, which is decorated with a cute little, and I'm thinking that's a broom. And I know Vicki makes all these things. Um, and her, well, and then, of course, Oh, we're well, late and look at the back. So, welcome spring. So, that's what the broom is all about. And there's a 30 day craft room cleaning challenge, which mm -mm, not happening because I got too much crafting to do. So, I hope you enjoyed this. I um, love getting this box, it was worth the wait. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Vicki. Let's not forget our bag and, of course, our Kit Kat. So I hope you have a great day wherever you are. Thanks so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe. Hit the notification bell. And we'll see you back here again real soon for lots more of fun crafting. All right, everyone. Bye for now.